Today we're going to have a look at a coin from one of the most famous years in English history, 1066. When the Anglo-Saxon king Edward the Confessor died without proclaiming an heir, Harold Godwinson ascended to the throne, but this upset William, Duke of Normandy, who allegedly was promised the throne by Harold upon the death of Edward the Confessor. In the weeks leading up to the legendary battle, Harold was actually forced to march all the way up to York to fight off an invasion by Harold Hardrada of Norway. He was successful at the Battle of Stamford Bridge, but then had to march all the way down to the south coast to ward off an invasion from Duke William of Normandy. It's well known that armies need payment, and to accomplish this, Harold issued a series of coins, struck in 1066, which bore his portrait. On the obverse, we can see a portrait of Harold facing left with a scepter in front, and around the outside, the inscription, which reads, Harold, King of the English. In medieval times, there wasn't just one mint like we have today. There were lots of mints scattered across the country, in some relatively obscure places today. And this meant that when a new king rose to the throne, he could order coins to be produced on a local level. Old coins returned to the mint and struck into new pieces. On the reverse, we can see Pax in the center, which means peace in Latin. And around the outside, we can see the mint, which is London, and the Munya, who was Woolgar. On the 14th of October, 1066, Harold lost the Battle of Hastings. He would be the last Anglo-Saxon king of England. William would go on to become King William of England and change British history forever.